our dear viewers professional students and professional fellow welcome again to my channel of professional discussion today my topics is financial financial instruments ifrs 9 along with ifrs 7 is 32 is 21 and is 12 related to financial instruments we'll discuss some is 21 and is 12 treatment using the concept of financial instruments so our planning for studies relevant is and ifrs is 32 is 32 ifr 7 for disclosure ifr 13 for valuation is 30 uh, 12 for deferred tax and is 21 changes in foreign exchange rates effect of change ifr 9 related and 7 related audit standard is there relevant audit standard we should have knowledge on audit standard this is not isa there related audit standard is international accounting accounting practice note practicing note iapn 1000 there is no isa there must be iapn 1000 students should relate in their exam that they know the relevant audit standard for financial instrument is international accounting practicing note this should be reminded to all relevant knowledge for financial man management chapter uh, risk management and hedging uh, before financial instrument uh, ifrs 9 and 7 or 32 is you should have uh, some uh, elementary knowledge on financial management uh, that is risk management and hedging without the clear knowledge of risk management and hedging uh, or that derivatives you should not go for uh, financial instrument chapter so i'll go for next for my first video classification with example i'll discuss deferred tax impact practical example of a square pharmaceutical annual report 2021-22 page 98 and I'll discuss later reclassification, impairment model, modification of debt, derecognition of financial asset, reversal of, of impairment, derivative and embedded derivative, hedge accounting. Some important definitions. You should have uh, known the important definition before going to the chapter financial instruments. Financial is a contract that give, gives rise to a financial asset of an one entity and financial liability or equity instrument for another entity. If we invest in the share, this is our asset and the issuer is uh, the, the, the issuer will be will treat its equity in their in their balance sheet. So my asset in their equity or liability. This is the financial instrument, the nature. NES that is uh, NES uh, financial asset that that is um, uh, any asset that is cash equity instrument of another entity contractual right to receive cash other financial asset from another entity or exchange financial assets or financial liability with another entity under condition that are potentially favorable to the entity that is financial assets in in some the financial liability with the opposite of asset redeemable preference share this is important redeemable fixed and determinable number of units are not issued that is liability there in the case of redeemable preference share fixed or determinable units of share are not issued that is liability dividend is not there although this is a fixed uh, amount uh, that uh, coupon rate it is finance cost and must be charged to PNL. In, in the case of any irredeemable preference share, fixed or determinable number of shares are issued and the share or equity is the part of capital. Dividend must be debited in the change of equity. This is dividend. This is not finance cost. 
financial liability a contractual obligation that i have already said uh, to deliver cash or another financial asset to another entity will you will uh, have um, some uh, uh, some uh, screenshot of this uh, uh, lecture and you'll get this the re related definition and the rest of the definition compound financial instrument this is important or hybrid some financial instruments call compound instruments have both a liability and equity element say there is a bond that is a, that will be convertible bond this is compound financial financial instrument that the part of equity and liability you will see in the example derivatives derivatives is also important from financial instrument derivatives is a financial instrument whose value is derived from other variable factor that is interest rate exchange rate index and other financial and global factor external factor it's settled in the future date and it has no initial investment this is the feature of derivatives we'll go for understanding from some financial instrument which what what elements or items is financial instrument or, or liability or asset this is the important uh, the element or item should be known to you dear viewers creditors is a financial liability investment in loan notes in other and an, another entity is financial asset um, bank loan obtained is financial liability ordinary share or uh, is a, a equity instrument irrenewable preference share issued in equity part of equity is a capital i have already said unfavorable forward currency contract it's a financial liability derivative that is share option that is uh, i um, i was to uh, the uh, equity instrument the share is option issue is issued it's an equity instrument not liability redeemable preference share is the liability and investment in redeemable preferential is financial asset is the investor or holding holder of the in investment current tax payable is not financial liabilities non financial liability as to do obli obligation deferred tax is not financial liability also exchange of favorable cash with uh, market value variable number of equity uh, instrument on net basis is a financial asset or liability depends on favorability inventory is non financial asset it's not financial asset inventory is not included in financial ifrs 9 or 7 it's a is2 liability share based payment is a financial liability pension liability it's a pen, uh, financial liability so this is the most important section of this chapter classification and subsequent measurement in ifrs 9 you will get a lot of discussion a lot of paragraph over 100 paragraph and, and explanatory notes you will get confused with uh, few, um, a lot of paragraphs and section so you have to be smart in summarization that is if you can brief your idea overall uh, for overall chapter of this financial instrument or ifrs 9 or 7 or is 32 this will be helpful uh, fruitful to understand in the practical area or in the exam for the students especially c students of icav so this is the most crucial factor classification is the most important there is three numbers of classification according to i i for us nine that is a financial instrument especially debt may be classified into amortized cost and boci fbtpl if it is it is debt instrument or debt or bond may be it's it's a liability or asset in our company or entity it may be classified as amort amortized cost that is amortization schedule we will use 
in the case of investment or liability that's bank uses the bank or financial instrument uh, institution uses the same as you can get in the calculator or google uh, amortization schedule this is the same so if a debt instrument may be classified amortized cost fboci and fbtpl in the case of amortized cost initial recognition fair value uh, plus minus is transaction cost if you are investor fair value will be treated as opening of initial in, in recognition transaction cost will be added if you are investor or you have asset of financial instrument the management if the management considered to classify amortized cost transaction will be added to fair value in the case of liability transaction cost will be less or deducted from liability this is the most important point this is the plus minus and subsequent measurement subs in the case of subsequent measurement in the in, uh, if if you have asset at amortized cost interest income will be added or in the in the case of liability expenses will be deducted using effective rate of interest this portion will be charged to pnl be careful this portion will be charged to pnl and foreign exchange loss in the case of is 21 be careful dear viewers and friends in is 21 there is a there is a criteria for valuation or fair value that is fboci or fbtpl or amortized cost debt instrument can be classified in three but in all cases the difference of exchange loss or translation loss will be charged to pnl no doubt there dear viewers no doubt there is if there any foreign exchange loss due to currency fluctuation will be charged to pnl in the case of is 21 the fair value increase or decrease may be charged to oci fboci but fboci is the portion of foreign exchange or currency fluctuation loss or gain will be charged to pnl so this is the area of mistake by the students all cases that's amortized cost fboci fbtpl in all cases foreign exchange loss will be charged to pnl no oci no other treatment and change in the fair value or in the just amortized schedule uh, will uh, fair value is uh, ignored no fair value will be uh, just in the amortized cost we have to use just amortization schedule we'll see later in the next slide the amortization schedule with example impairment based on expected loss will uh, next uh, video impairment model will be discussed and recognition or sale disposal of gain or loss will be separately discussed to you dear and if there recognition in the amortized cost will be charged to pnl in the case of fboci initial recognition is fair value plus minus transaction cost as per amortized cost in the, in the case of asset transaction cost will be added and in the case of liability transaction cost will be deducted or minus subsequent measurement interest income is also same in the uh, it will, will go to pnl and in the all case fbtpl also and foreign exchange loss must be charged to pnl uh, then change in fair value is will go will consider in the oci not in the pl be careful dear students and change in fair value will be charged to oci other comprehensive income impairment based on expected loss all impairment based on expected loss 
we'll discuss later and in the case of debt debt instrument derecognition or disposal derecognition gain or loss transferred from oci to pnl if there is previously oci balance will be nil then this is recycling then the balance will be charged to pnl like i uh, is 16 this is uh, may, in the case of pp we can see the treatment and the den instrument in the case of PNL, initial recognition fair value will be uh, will be shown in the balance sheet, and no transaction will transaction cost will be charged or no issue cost will be charged. This issue cost will be charged to PNL, but in the BOCI and amortized cost, issue cost or transaction cost is added or deducted, but FBTPL policy will show that transaction cost will charge to PNL. Subsequent measurement, subsequent measure also PNL affect increased income or expenses. Foreign exchange loss is uh, IS21 is also will go for PNL. And uh, change in uh, fair value is also for PNL. There is no OCI. Impairment is expected um, based on expected loss. Derecognition also <coughs> charge to PNL. So this is the main area that FBOCI will be reclassified from OCI to PNL. This is the main area of mistake by the students. Okay. Then we go for classification. If there is equity in instrument, asset or capital in the balance sheet. In the case of equity in instrument, there is no amortized cost. Amortization is not allowed by the IVRS 9. So, this is not allowed. This cross, 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 cross. There is no entry for equity instrument. This is for debt instrument. But equity instrument may be classified into two criteria that is FBOCI and FBTPL. FBOCI initial recognition cost, fair value, and transaction cost will be add or ba uh, backed, added or deducted and uh, subsequent man measurement will dividend income will go for PNL and change in fair value is uh, OCI this this is the classification as management policy is OCI so any change in fair value will be charged to OCI impairment will be based on expected loss derecognition of gain and loss other uh, comprehensive income this is go for this is, there is no class uh, re recycle will go directly to OCI be careful dear students that FBOCI if there is FBOCI equity instrument the derecognition of gain or loss will charge to OCI not reclassification from OCI to PL. This is the most area, uh, important area or area of mistake of the students. So be careful dear students. FBTVL, if the equity instrument is classified as FBTVL, fair value through profit and loss, this is initial recognition, fair value and transaction cost is direct to directly charged to PNL, fair value only will be initial recognition subsequently all interest income expenses will charge to PNL and change in fair value is also PNL impairment there is no impairment uh, also uh, the, there is there will be no impairment there since um, fair value is uh, fair value difference is charged to PNL so there is no impairment arises like a BOCI derecognition loss or gain will be charged to PNL. So this is the main two slide. We can see the slide or classification or measurement by three uh, by the flow chart. This is also same as I discussed in the my vertical presentation but this is also a flow chart data instrument derivatives and equity instrument. You can have a screenshot and see this 
item that you instrument this is the important when we can when management uh, can just the instrument to have solely payment of interest principal and interest and farewell um, and to hold it until maturity and what is cause is holding the instrument till maturity and solely it's it is held for solely payment and interest and the after end of the maturity it will be redeemed or encashed so this is the idea of amortization cost so that instrument so may be amortized or boci all derivative derivative in the case of derivative be careful no boci or um, amortized cost will be um, will be just or considered all derivatives item will be charged to pnl directly this is flow chart this is clear an equity instrument if the management ja, um, considers that equity instrument will be held for trading for short term just hold and sell one day two day after two, two day three days or within week or, week or month this is equity instrument held for trading in the case of held for trading all difference will be charged to pnl we'll see in next slide of example there is an example of classification and measurement especially derivatives um uh, all the derivatives initially and subsequent profit and loss in the valuation will be charged to pnl uh, i have already discussed that in the flow chart in the case of derivative all the subsequent valuations effect will be shown through pnl fbtpl illustration issuers if the company is a issuer of hybrid instrument hybrid instrument or compound financial instrument is both uh, the component of uh, liability and also equity so we will see in the uh, in the example on january 2020 not terms limited issued 50 million 3 years convertible bond at par there are no issue cost the coupon rate is uh, 10% the bond holder will get 10% fixed there is no doubt that fixed element of 10% will be given to the bond holder payable annually in arrears 30 in arrears on 31st december every year 31st december is is paid um, interest or coupon is paid the bond is redeemed at par on january 2024 so there is a 3 years uh, bond 3 years bond is in, uh, in the january 20 november will be this will be redeemed bond holders may opt for on conversion the terms of conversion are 0.25 equity shares for every one or owed to each bond holder or january 2024 bond issues are similar and tail without any conversion right currently bear interest 15% this is the most important that is um arms length uh, or or conversion right uh, that is bear interest 15 percent is the effective interest rate similar entities rate will be just for your uh, charging interest on the opening balance and closing balance that is uh, I, i will see in the uh, answer so we'll see that there is coupon rate and that is Uh, effective interest rate so effective interest rate is the which will be ultimately paid to the share um, bond holders so this answer coupon rate 10% given discount factor is affecting effective interest rate eir valuation of bond will will value evaluate the bond as interest component plus present value of redeemable value this is the formula present value of annuity annuity factor for 3 years at 15% of interest component plus present value of redeemable value redeemable amount this is the main 50 million 
so the bond holder will get interest coupon right 10 percent on 50 million the principal is 50 million we have seen the bond uh, issue 50 million 10 percent of 50 million 50 lakh into present value of annuity factor for three years at 15 percent that's discount factor will get 50, 50, 50 lakh into one divided by 0.15 bracket 1 minus 1 divided by 1.5 to the power 3 this is the annuity factor present value annuity factor you have to, um, if you have poor knowledge on uh, finance especially time value of money you don't uh, understand the uh, chapter especially financial instruments and in all accounting area you have to uh, you have to have knowledge on financial management especially present value time value of money so this is the annuity factor present value annuity factor this can be shown in the schedule after one after one other this first year interest second year interest and present value this will be lengthy for you if you know the shortcut method or this uh, this formula you can um, have the result within uh, 10 seconds in your calculator or from annuity table given in the exam hall so this is the annuity factor 2.28 this is the uh, 1141-6125 this is the interest present value of interest in the uh, using annuity factor there is another element is present value of redeemable value redeemable amount is 50 lakh 50 million sorry 50 million will be discounted at present value 0 0.6575 165 this is the redeemable value at the end of the three this is the lump sum amount present value of lump sum amount that is 3 to 32 lakh uh, 328 75 if you invest 320, uh, 328 7, 75 in the present you will get 50 million in after three years this is the present value this is the uh, redeemable value or future value so this is the uh, present value uh, lump sum amount and another uh, interest coupon will be <coughs> calculated by using present value annuity factor this you should have clear idea about present value or uh, time value of money total bond value will be uh, 11416125 and 32887581 will get 4429 this is the total bond value that is liability so equity component there is another uh, interesting that equity component will be total proceeds minus that liability you have uh, um, valued or evaluate the component of liability proceeds we have <coughs> 50 million present uh, we have uh, uh, received cash and the valuation of bond or liability is 44 29 1936 that is the 57 lakh 08 0, uh, 8 thousand or 63 this is the equity component equity element you can show um, uh, bsrm annual, annual annual report for valuation this is the uh, um, 20 20 14 maybe 2014 uh, annual report so you can you can see the annual report of 2014-15 for the year accounting year so this is my reference to see the valuation of liability of convertible bond amortization schedule this is like bank loan schedule of daily life you can have called calculator or uh, google to for that that's the same thing the opening balance this is the first year that we have evaluated the value 4429 and interest rate will be charged this is the effective interest we will this will be charged to pnl this is pnl this is this will go to pnl there is a 15 percent on opening and 50 lakhs is the uh, is the cash flow K payment is cash flow 
this must go to cash flow all cash flow is and after cash this is closing balance liability opening plus interest and payment is minus figure and after deducting 50 lakh and adding 66 for 3 790 this will get uh, I, I will get closing liability it is at the end of the year 1 4 5 9 3 5 7 uh, uh, 5 7 2 6 this will be opening and second year interest is charged and 50 50 lakh is, uh, is the interest uh, sorry um, coupon rate or payment this is the interest and uh, and principal 50 lakh every year you have to pay this is the closing 47826085.36 this is the opening and also charged effective interest rate uh, 721 uh, 73.912 and payment is 50 lakh this is the installment uh, and this 50 million already there and this is the redeemed of principal at the end of three year the, the, at the end of the three year you have to pay pay, pay the two element this is 50, 50, 5 million and 50 million is the principal amount this will be at the end of the uh, year three the company will pay back this is the nil already nil after 50 lakh this 50 lakh is this 50 lakh is nil So this is the discussion, end of the discussion of uh, my uh, financial instrument that is, um, that is um, uh, and uh, we can see, we can see the debit tax effect, debit tax asset from dear viewers, a debit tax asset is uh, seen from the annual report of square pharmaceutical limiters this is the group accounts this is the uh, debit tax fboci uh, financial assets this is the fboci financial asset carrying amount is 43 46 7, 7, 0, 8, and fboci financial asset tax base this is cost tax base means cost tax will allow only cost there is no fair value or uh, boci will be judged by the tax authority so there is a difference of carrying amount and tax base the carrying amount is bigger than the tax base that that arise a figure the temporary difference this is a taxable temporary difference in the asset side if the carrying amount is greater than tax base taxable temporary difference will arise so tax rate of uh, this kind of um, uh, gain is tax rate is uh, gain of, uh, is 10 percent in our country so 92 290 38 will be debit tax liability this debit tax liability is opening 176 so so debit tax liability will be reduced to 84 626 372 this is the main idea of debit tax using financial instrument IFRS 9. So we can also have knowledge on debit tax uh, after the knowledge uh, using the financial instrument chapter. So this will be charge to uh, income statement. So the um, I I will complete my video. So next I will uh, carry, uh, carry out the rest of the um, elements of, of IFRS 9 and till then goodbye. Assalamu alaikum.